Well, I was born in London, but um, uh, after finishing my studies here, I decided to uh, do postgraduate work in, in Poland. And uh, what I admired about Polish graphic design, Polish graphics illustration, was uh, its expressive nature. Um, I was always attracted to storytelling, and, and I suppose um, posters were, were a kind of shorthand. Um, uh, they kind of signaled stories more than told stories, uh, but they were involved with, with narrative through theatre, through film. Andre invited us to come to Poland back in, the, in the 1974, we, we first visited him. And we were great fans of the Polish poster at that time. So there suddenly, in the, this was it, you're strongly in, in a, a communist socialist state. And yet on the street, everywhere were these amazing imagistic posters that, the, that made the West look pathetic, actually. Well, if you look at, say, the Hollywood tradition of the film poster, we're used to having superstars appearing on those posters, portraits, really, and often those kind of hyperbolic statements, amazing, wonderful, come and see this film. In Poland, they didn't really need to advertise in the same way. It was a country under communist rule. So the poster weirdly had a kind of autonomy. It wasn't under commercial pressure. So artists and designers like Klimovsky would interpret the film. And what that means is that their work isn't simply a kind of promotion of the film, but it's a kind of intellectual interpretation. And that means that the poster was far livelier, far more imaginative in the East than it was in the West. My client was the, uh, the central uh, film distributors um, in Poland, uh, which was then a socialist state, so there, was, there were no commercial pressures. People would see these films anyway, uh, so um, I think the function of the poster was really to, uh, I think, to celebrate um, uh, the films on show. Uh, so they were a kind of, they extended the life of the film. There's a sense of a genealogy different generations of designers. So Andrzej is from a kind of middle generation of the Polish poster. Um, he was taught by the most famous Polish poster designer of the 20th century, which was a guy called Henryk Tomaszewski, famous for amazingly kind of liquid, beautiful drawing style that probably owed quite a lot to Matisse. So that was Andrzej's master. Andrzej studied with him in the 1970s, developed his own techniques, his own vision, it's very independent. And now there's a new generation today which is sort of thriving in poster production, particularly in Poland. Tomaszewski was um, a, a wonderful designer himself uh, and, and he, he taught at the Academy of Fine Art. He had a, he had a studio, a class specialising in, in poster design and that's where I went. I went to study with him. Um, very tough teacher, very demanding, uh, uh, but he taught us a lot. And if you, uh, if one was to describe his method of teaching, he taught us how to think. He said, you know, if you come to my studio, uh, it's a given that you, you can draw, you can paint, you can make pictures, and uh, you know that's a given. Um, uh, here in 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 my studio. Uh, we learn how to think. <laughs> the poster is a deeply historical object. It goes back to the 19th century in some parts of the world, particularly in Poland. Posters had a really kind of lively afterlife, and Andrzej Klimowski has been one of those major figures that's been at the centre of the development of the poster through his career in the 70s and the 80s. His use of collage, his use of colour, his use of compositional values, um, he likes to make very explicit graphic statements um, and that's the, they're the kind of things that I respond to. And all of these kind of uh, subtle conversational kind of building blocks of the things that help me inform how I might respond. Um, and it is, it, it does come out of a, a poster tradition of impact and telling story um, and it having a, a, a graphic Presence. The, the distributor of, of the, our, our film, normally they, they always ask for a photograph. It's the, the, the only way to, to 
depict a film as a poster. And what Andre did and what we would like to have done ourselves was that he created something from uh, an imaginative poster that, that would not pass in this country. It would not have been acceptable. That's the trick, is to, is to, is to try and find maybe some kind of symbol or metaphor or, which would uh, which would kind of which is a kind of condensed form of the essence of, of, of the subject or of the film or of the play. Um, at the same time, you can't give too much away because you don't want to um, be literal about it. But you want to kind of whet the appetite of um, and the curiosity of the, of the audience. The legacy of the history of the Polish poster that Andrzej extends that legacy beautifully.